everybody. Welcome to another episode of Off the Shelf. It is May. We've got Memorial Day coming up and with it the unofficial start of summer and nothing says summer to me like grilling. So I have picked a selection of grilling books and a couple of DVDs to share with you today to up your own outdoor cooking game. We're gonna start with Feeding the Fire. Uh, the cool thing about this book is that it it talks about grilling, it talks about the importance of, you know, your setup and the cuts of meat and all that stuff. But it also includes all of these lessons it, as part of it. Um, like lesson number 14, doneness, know where to stick your thermometer. So they're giving you all of these different little lessons that some of them are directly related to grilling and technique, um, and some of them are more in the ballpark, like beer is a craft, which is lesson number nine. So there's, there's a lot going on in this book, see from the table of contents, and if you guys have watched any of my other cookbook videos, you know how much I love the good pictures of the food. Like, what is the point of a cookbook without all the pretty food pictures? Check out that pork loin. Oh, oh my gosh. Looks so, so, so good. And this beef brisket? Yes. So, if you are looking for kind of a broad approach to grilling um, that's going to give you more of a holistic view, I guess you could say, then this is definitely one to check out. Another one I've got for you is Any Night Grilling from Food 52. And the, the thing I liked about this one is that the whole point is that you can grill anytime. It doesn't need to be a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon kind of thing. You Tuesday night, you get home from work, you can still fire up the grill and cook something awesome. So that's kind of where this one is coming from. Um, my favorite part of this book, guys, is there's an entire section on cheese. So you wanna, you wanna grill some cheese? I wanna grill some cheese, that looks awesome. Um, I think these are blood oranges with big chunks of cheese. Oh, yes, that sounds amazing. And then, you know, they've also got, like, roasted chicken with tomatillo sauce. Um, all, all the kind of stuff that you would expect to find in a grilling cookbook. And just some really nice pictures. But if you want to grill cheese or if you're interested in ways to work grilling in to your everyday cooking routine, then definitely check that one out. This one does not have all the pretty pictures. Uh, it's the Essential New York Times Grilling Cookbook. What I liked about this one, though, is that they took recipes from the New York Times. Um, you know they have a, a food section that they put recipes out um, and have for years and years and years. They took recipes from their archives and compiled all of the best grilling ones into this book. So there's lots of stuff from all, like way, way back. And it doesn't have all the pretty pictures of food, but it does have fun pictures from the New York Times. Like check out that one. I, <laughs> this woman cooking on a boat. Um, so it's got cool sort of historical pictures from the paper along with the recipes. Um, and, and the recipes are awesome. Like shrimp mojo, mojo to, I don't even know how to say that, but it sounds good. Um, but it doesn't have all the pretty pictures of the food. So if you care less about the pretty pictures than I do, definitely give this one a shot. If you are a big fan of the New York Times uh, recipes from their food section, uh, then definitely check this one out. Just don't expect all the pretty food pictures. Okay. Then I have The Grilling Book from Bon Appetit. This is like 
intended to be the ultimate grilling guide for you here. It's a big one. And it's got, like a bunch of the others, a bunch of information about how to set up your grill, how to decide if you want to do a gas grill or charcoal, um, if you want to, to do wood chips for smoking and infusing flavor that way. There's a lot of information on that in here. And then, of course, everything is broken down into sections. Um, you get a section on chicken, a section on burgers and hot dogs, a section on lamb, a section on shellfish, all of that. So that's, you know, if you're only going to get one grilling cookbook, this is a good one for sure. Um, and then there's even cocktails in this one, so you get your whole experience. Because what is a grilled meal without an awesome drink to go with it, alcoholic or not? You need a fun drink, right? Like, who's going to drink a glass of water after they grilled Greek-style sea scallops? That sounds boring if you don't have anything good to drink with it. Okay, maybe not boring, but less fun. And then, of course, there's an entire section on sauces. Um, and in the sauces, there's also dry rubs and, and all of that. So, like I said, if you're only going to look at one grilling book, this is a really good choice for you. Um, you're going to get a lot out of it. And the recipes really do look very good. My favorite one, though, of all the ones I picked is How to Grill Everything. You can see I marked a whole bunch of them because they all looked so good. Um, like the others, this has information about, you know, all of the basics of grilling. It's super great. It tells you um, all kinds of other accessories that are useful if you're getting into grilling for the first time. And then it's got, you know, a variety of, of different chapters on appetizers and meats and all that jazz. There's some cheese for you there. Oh, yum. So good. Um, and honestly, I think my favorite, this one is my favorite just because as I was flipping through it, the recipes all really caught my eye. These are Baja style front, um, fish tacos. And tacos are the perfect food, in my opinion. Um, don't come at me, but they are. And they've also got a wide variety of different kinds of cuisines in this one. So you've got the Baja tacos, and then you've got Piri Piri chicken, which um, is African, an African chili sauce. So, and then you've got tandoori chicken, which is Indian. Um, so you've got a really wide variety of things in this book. So if you checked out the grilling book and you're just looking for more recipes, then how to grill everything, I think, is, is your next stop. Um, it looks amazing. I want to eat everything in it. Another one that does a really good job with incorporating a bunch of different kinds of cuisines is Bobby Flay. All of his cookbooks, he does that, um, which is one of the reasons I really enjoy his cookbooks. And so this one is Bobby Flay's Grill It. And um, something I found particularly interesting in this, he has an entire chapter on asparagus. It never occurred to me that there were that many ways to grill asparagus, but Bobby Flay has come up with it for you. There are, oh, let's see, 12 pages on grilling asparagus. So if you really like asparagus, you have to check out this book. Um, there's also an entire chapter on grilling fruit, on grilling mushrooms. So he really breaks it down for you. It's not just like, here's all the vegetables, you can do some skewers and there you go, which is about as far as my brain usually goes with grilling vegetables. But if, if I check out Bobby Flay, then I'm gonna up my game a little bit. Um, I just wanna show you a few of the pretty pictures here. Look at those. Those are grilled lamb with Greek spinach pita salad. It's kind of a long name, but yum. And then we have grilled sausage sandwiches. 
Yes, please. So like I said, he does a really good job of incorporating a bunch of different cuisines into his cookbooks. Um, and he's really broken it down for you in terms of the what the different chapters are covering. So if you're looking for something very specific, you might want to check him out. Another one that really breaks it down for you, as always, is America's Test Kitchen. This is Master of the Grill. Um, and I always like America's Test Kitchen because they tell you why a recipe is going to work. Like scientifically, they have figured out the best way to do whatever it is that you're doing. So whether it's grilling a chicken or, you know, baking a cake, America's Test Kitchen has put them through the paces so they know exactly why this is the way to do it. They've broken this one down into um, little bitty pieces. So they're all numbered here. And this one's keeping the heat down. Talks about doing it low and slow. Um, and that, that piece of meat looks awesome. If you don't like meat, grilling, it's not, not for you. I actually um, had, I went through, there's a vegan grilling cookbook in our collection. Um, it didn't excite me as much as these ones, so I did not include it. But if you don't eat meat, you can still be a grilling master. Just some of these ones focus pretty heavily on the meat. Um, but like I was saying, they, they give you so much information in their cookbooks. Like number 403 is buying whole chickens. And it talks about how you pick a chicken and the ones that they have found to be the best chickens in their research. So I, you know, I wouldn't even know where to start if I went to the store to buy a whole chicken. I'm not sure I've ever bought a whole chicken, but this is going to tell me how. Um, and it's just so useful. Their pictures of the food in general are not quite as eye-catching. Um, this ultimate mushroom burger looks good though. So America's Test Kitchen, if you are of more of a scientific mind and you want to know why things work the way they do and why they're telling you to do something the way that they do, then definitely give this one a look because this is the one that's going to give you all of that information and take you down a bit of a grilling rabbit hole um, in a good way. <laughs> so America's Test Kitchen, master of the grill. Then we have a great courses selection. It comes with a DVD and a book. Uh, and this is the Everyday Gourmet, How to Master Outdoor Cooking. And they partnered with the Culinary Institute of America to put this course together. Um, there's, can, I'm just gonna hold up one because it's kind of slippery to hold up both. Um, but there's different chapters on the discs about grilling different things. So there's obviously the basics, vegetables and side dishes, Mediterranean style grilling, um, grilling for a group, that's all here. So if a DVD is more your jam and you just want to learn kind of how to do something and not, you're not looking quite so much for a recipe, but like the how-to guide, then this one is, is definitely one to consider. And like I said, it comes with the DVD and the book. So you get both at the same time. Um, then another DVD I have is Martha's Summer Favorites. You know, I gotta include Martha Stewart. If we're talking about any type of entertaining, Martha Stewart has to be mentioned. And this one, it has a section on grilling. These are, it's a collection of segments from her TV show. Um, so there are parts on grilling, but then there's parts on other things, outdoor games, um, entertaining, like tablescapes and all of that. If you are a fan of Martha Stewart, if you've watched her show, this one is obviously going to be right up your alley, um, but she's she's one of the queens of um, entertaining. So if that's the kind of thing that you're looking for, I would definitely suggest that you check that one out as well. And I've got one more for you. 
uses red, white, and Q. And this one takes a very Americana sort of approach to grilling. Um, I think grilling is one of the more American food traditions, honestly. Um, it, it feels very American. I could be wrong, but that's the way it feels. Um, but this one it takes a, a sort of patriotic approach to grilling. Um, this one also includes cocktails. So here you have a list of some fun cocktails um, and, you know, a, a section on burgers, grilled corn. There's no point in eating corn unless it's been grilled on the cob. Like, why would you bother to eat it any other way? Um, and there's just, it's, it's all very sort of farm fresh um, and it spins on classic American type grilled food. So you're not gonna find anything really crazy. You're not gonna find something inspired by um, African cuisine in this one. But if you're looking for some straight American grilling, then this is definitely one to consider. So those are the grilling books I selected for you. I hope that a couple of them have caught your eye. If nothing else, I hope you enjoyed some of the pretty pictures. Um, and I hope that you go forth and grill amazing things as we head into the summer and enjoy all of your outdoor cooking and eating and um, spending time outside. I, I feel like we've all been cooped up more so than normal um, over the last year. And so I, I really like, I know I'm not the only one that just feels like I need to go outside and I, I want to spend time in the sun and just like drink in the sunshine. Um, and being able to eat something awesome while I do it just is the cherry on top. So if you saw something here you liked, definitely come check them out. If you're looking for something else, you can always go to our website, eastonpl.org, and either search our catalog or you can submit a personalized recommendation request form through our off the shelf page. Um, you know, as always, tell us a little bit about like what you like, what you're looking for, and we will give you some recommendations back. I'm sorry, I keep seeing people walking right behind me here and it is making me crazy. So I'm sorry if you've been seeing people walk behind me the whole video. Um, try to ignore those people. Can I do a Jedi mind trick on you and be like, you don't see anyone back there. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for you today. Until next time, happy reading and happy cooking.